Welcome to our video on the best fish to stop arterial plaque and blood sugar spikes, and five fish to avoid. Cholesterol oxidation in the arteries is a serious issue, especially for diabetics. Have you noticed feelings of fatigue, shortness of breath, cold sweats, or pain in your arms, legs, or chest? These symptoms may be a warning sign of atherosclerosis. The buildup of arterial plaque can be directly due to your lifestyle, from smoking to lack of exercise to unhealthy eating habits. But here's the good news. Our Blue Planet has provided us with the perfect sustenance for beating arterial plaque and high blood sugar levels. And that food is fish. But not all fish are the same. And while some can offer amazing heart-aiding micronutrients, other fish may be loaded with hazardous toxins. So how can you know which fish to choose and which to avoid? Well, fear not, because in this video, we are diving right into the five best fish for your arteries and blood sugar, and five fish to avoid. As the saying goes, there are plenty of fish in the sea, and many varieties are not only delicious, they supply an ocean of beneficial macro and micronutrients, especially glucose-stabilizing protein and artery-aiding omega-3 fatty acids. In fact, medical professionals recommend eating seafood twice per week. But did you know that some varieties of fish could give you potentially toxic chemicals? We'll show you the specific types of fish that scientists now warn against eating later in this video. First, let's start off nice and easy in shallow waters, because here you'll find scallops. These shellfish can be found in every ocean on the planet, and they contain a wide variety of heart-helping, diabetes-fighting nutrients. Scallops are an excellent low-fat source of protein, which aids satiety and weight loss. Protein also helps to build muscle, which can play a role in improving insulin sensitivity. And oh yeah, Protein also works to slow digestion, thus providing a big benefit for balancing post-meal blood sugar levels. In fact, studies have shown a link between regularly eating scallops and reduced glucose levels. But let's not forget about their omega-3 fatty acids, heart-healthy polyunsaturated fats, which have been shown to lower harmful triglycerides while improving levels of artery-cleansing HDL cholesterol. Omega-3 fats can also help to lower blood pressure. Plus, scallops are a great source of other essential nutrients, including calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, selenium, and zinc, along with vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 and copper both play critical roles in red blood cell formation. Potassium is very important to arterial health, as it has been found to reduce the effect of sodium on blood pressure. Scallops are especially high in selenium, which promotes proper thyroid function, and magnesium, which is a key electrolyte that helps maintain healthy heart rhythm. Magnesium has also been shown to reduce arterial stiffness and improve endothelial function, which lowers the risk of plaque buildup in the arteries. In fact, an animal study published in the journal Nutrition and Metabolism revealed that mice who were regularly fed scallops for 13 weeks experienced an average 24% reduction in atherosclerotic plaque. Can you guess the other type of seafood that this same study also pointed to for arterial plaque-reducing effects? We'll reveal the answer later in this video. First, let's jump into the deep end, where we'll find Atlantic mackerel. There are actually several types of mackerel, and in general, it is considered to be one of the most nutrient-dense fish in the sea. But scientists believe that Atlantic mackerel may offer the most health benefits, with the least amount of health risks, compared to other types, like the king mackerel, which is much larger and tends to contain higher levels of mercury. Atlantic mackerel is a great source of protein, in fact, it gives you all nine essential amino acids, making this a complete protein source. This fish also supplies the specific omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA, which have been found to improve endothelial function, meaning they aid the health of your artery walls. 
These fats have also been shown to reduce chronic inflammation, which may otherwise lead to atherosclerosis. Atlantic mackerel is also renowned for its ability to retain a high concentration of beneficial vitamins, even after it has been smoked. It gives you a good amount of vitamin D, which may aid weight loss and lower the risk of heart disease. It also contains other glucose-stabilizing, artery-aiding antioxidants, including vitamin E, magnesium, potassium, selenium, and zinc. These minerals have been shown to protect against the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, thus helping to prevent plaque accumulation in the arteries. And a single serving of Atlantic mackerel supplies nearly 300% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin B12, which is essential for immune system and nervous system health. And of course, like other oily fish, Atlantic mackerel's excellent supply of protein and omega-3 fats can work to improve insulin sensitivity. But while this is one of the best wild-caught fish to consume, can you guess the type of fish that actually benefits from being farm-raised? We'll tell you what it is in just a moment. First, we should show you the other type of fish that the journal Nutrition and Metabolism cited for its ability to reduce arterial plaque. Meat, cod. High in protein, but low in fat, calories, and carbohydrates, cod can be one of the best white seafood choices for your arteries and your blood sugar. While this is not an oily fish, with less omega-3 fat content than other seafood varieties, it is an excellent source of lean protein. So, a serving of cod will give you just 85 calories, with less than 1 gram of fat, but 20 grams of heart-helping protein. In fact, a study from the journal Nutrition, Metabolism, and Cardiovascular Diseases showed that overweight participants who ate up to 150 grams of cod five days a week for eight weeks experienced an average 3.7 pounds of weight loss compared to participants who did not eat cod. The European Journal of Clinical Nutrition even found that eating modest portions of cod protein can beneficially affect post-meal glucose regulation. The study further showed that cod can aid lipid metabolism, and other studies show that consuming baked cod can lead to lower cholesterol levels. Cod is also an excellent source of powerful antioxidants, including several B vitamins, especially vitamin B12 and vitamin B3, aka niacin. In fact, niacin plays a major role in maintaining blood vessel and heart health, and studies show it may help to reduce LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, while improving levels of artery-cleansing HDL cholesterol. And as cod further supplies other heart-helping micronutrients, like choline, phosphorus, and selenium, this is yet another fantastic fish for reducing artery-damaging inflammation. What do scientists believe is possibly the most heart-healthy oily fish in all the sea? Today's top choice is just ahead. First, let's take a close look at one of the most popular and nutrient-packed types of farmed fish on the market, or rather, at your local fish market. Farmed Rainbow Trout Why is farmed trout better than wild trout? Well, this freshwater relative of the salmon is actually less likely to become contaminated with toxins in a farmed environment than it may otherwise accumulate in rivers and lakes. And according to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch, farmed rainbow trout is one of the best types of fish to eat in terms of environmental impact. But no matter where you get your trout, you will be gifted a wide variety of artery-aiding nutrients including omega-3 fatty acids and protein, supplying good amounts of all nine essential amino acids. And it's yet another fish that is a great source of vitamin B12, with one serving supplying over 115% of the RDI for this antioxidant that aids red blood cell production. Rainbow Trout further awards you a good quantity of blood pressure regulating vitamin D and potassium. It also gives you a good portion of vitamin E, which has been shown to help prevent arterial stiffness and atherosclerosis. But the most concentrated mineral you will find in rainbow trout is selenium, which fights free radical damage. 
This powerful antioxidant has also been found to reduce the risk of heart disease by lowering inflammation. In fact, one meta-analysis of 25 observational studies concluded that increasing your blood selenium levels by 50% can lead to a 24% reduction in your risk of heart disease. And naturally, the high amount of omega-3 fats within rainbow trout can also help to improve your insulin sensitivity. So, which fish should you actively avoid if you are worried about clogged arteries or diabetes? That's coming up next. But now, let's catch perhaps the biggest fish for huge arterial benefits, even though this fish is actually quite tiny. Sardines Named after the Italian island of Sardinia, these small oily fish are typically canned. But don't worry, canned sardines contain no preservatives or other artificial agents. They are simply cooked in water, oil, or tomato juice, and then hermetically sealed, which makes them easy to acquire, cost-effective, and safe to eat. And they have been eaten for generations as a natural remedy against everything from heart disease to depression. Sardines are yet another excellent option for acquiring your daily dose of both protein and omega-3 fats, boasting good amounts of the fatty acids EPA and DHA. In fact, a single 3-ounce serving of sardines contains a whopping 300 milligrams of heart-helping omega-3s. By reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, these fats play a significant role in preventing and managing cardiometabolic diseases. Plus, this tiny fish is one of the few foods that is naturally high in vitamin D, an antioxidant that can support weight loss while lowering the risk of developing heart disease. Sardines further supply a wealth of other essential micronutrients, including vitamin B12, vitamin E, calcium, iron, magnesium, molybdenum, phosphorus, selenium, and zinc. Have you heard of molybdenum? This essential trace mineral helps to break down proteins. It is involved in a host of other processes in the human body, and studies suggest that it may mimic the action of insulin. In fact, research published in the journal Nutrients showed that participants who ate lettuce fortified with molybdenum experienced significant reductions in their fasting glucose and insulin resistance. A separate study published in the journal Clinical Nutrition demonstrated that a diet enriched with sardines significantly reduced the risk of developing type 2 diabetes in elderly pre-diabetic participants. But these little fishies are also wonderful for your arterial health. Their sizable portions of potassium and magnesium can relax blood vessels, thus improving blood flow while reducing strain on the heart and arteries. And the other antioxidants and omega-3 fats within sardines further work to fight against free radical damage and inflammation, which helps to prevent LDL cholesterol from oxidizing into arterial plaque. Okay, so now you know all about five wonderful seafood choices for improving your arterial health and your blood sugar control. But you also need to understand the types of fish to avoid. Unfortunately, even some wild-caught fish can be especially contaminated with dangerous chemicals and other potential toxins, especially mercury. Mercury can build up in the bodies of smaller fish at safe levels. However, larger fish who eat the smaller fish often have much higher concentrations of mercury in their system. And eating too much of these larger fish with high amounts of mercury has been associated with brain issues, including damage to motor skills, memory, and attention, while increasing the risk of other conditions like Alzheimer's disease, anxiety, and depression. Plus, high exposure to mercury may also result in increased blood pressure and LDL cholesterol levels, potentially heightening the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and arterial plaque buildup. So, while you can enjoy most any type of fish from time to time, it is important to avoid over-consuming those larger fish, especially marlin, shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and big-eye tuna. <laughs>